Following an officer and two others being shot, this hours-long SWAT standoff in a Muldoon neighborhood meant students couldn't be let out of school for the day from two elementary schools, a middle school and a high school in the area. And people who live in and near the Rangeview Mobile Home Park at East 6th Avenue couldn't go home as police worked to take a suspect who fled to a trailer home a bear and barricaded himself there into custody. If I had kids, I'd be scared to death. Bill Shore is one of many people who live near the Rangeview Mobile Home Park, a neighborhood at the center of a lockdown on Monday that spanned more than six hours, multiple agencies, and the closure of nearby streets, roads, and parts of Muldoon. I ended up having to find the fish my way back through the police barricades to get home. Um, when I got home, I had heard what sounded like a couple gunshots, maybe three or four. And then uh, as I was going back into the house, I think I heard about two or three more. Shore feeds birds from his hand on his porch. He was taking video of that when he says he heard more gunfire. Police say a man shot a man and a woman in a park on Monday morning, then fled to the mobile home park off of Muldoon and East 6th. According to police, that's when the man shot an APD officer in the leg, with the suspect barricading himself inside a mobile home. Every street that lines the trailer home park was shut down, and some residents were evacuated, until at about 5.15 the same night, the suspect taken into custody. Kind of scary. Um, I mean, um, not so much for myself. I feel like I could take care of myself if I had to, but. Um, just the fact that um, that kind of thing goes on in a neighborhood you live in uh, is enough to make you worry a bit. The standoff and lockdown also impacted four public schools. Creekside Park and Muldoon Elementary Schools were locked down, then put on stay put status. Begich Middle School and Bartlett High School wouldn't release students who lived near the lockdown unless, as was the case for all four schools, students' parents pick them up in person. The Anchorage School District's deputy chief of schools says there were still a handful of students waiting to be picked up hours after class ended, right about the time when the suspect was arrested. When we learned of the situation with, through our partnership with APD, uh, we immediately put uh, our schools that were near the incident into stay put. All students were safe at all times. Anchorage School District says without an active threat, schools should be business as usual for tomorrow, Beth.